In this video, I'm going to first start with the proof of the formula for the sum of the geometric series, and then I'm going to go through two examples just to show how to use the formula. So if I first lay out the uh, uh, bunch of um, terms in a geometric sequence, so I'll take my first term, and then my second term is basically u1 times r to the power of 1, and then my uh, third term is u1 times r to the power of 2 and so on so I can lay out all my terms and then my last one could be so this is my un term that would be um, u1 times r to the power of n minus 1 so that's the un term that's the formula u1 this is u2 u3 so I'm just adding all of these together and so on so adding them together will give me the sum up until n, and that's the same notation we use for the arithmetic sequence. So this is the sum of the geometric terms up until n. Now if I um, take this sum and I'm going to manipulate it a bit, and I'm going to multiply every single, I'm going to multiply r by the sum, which means I'm multiplying every single term by r. So I'm going to get this. So the first one, instead of u1, it's going to be u1 times r to the power of 1. This I'm multiplying by r as well, so it's going to be r squared. I'm multiplying this by r, so it's going to end up being r cubed, and so on. My last one, if I multiply u1 times r to the power of n minus 1, if I multiply it by, n, by r, sorry, it's going to give me u1 times r to the power of n. So eventually we end up with r's in every single term. So this is my new one my new sum if I multiply the sum by r. I multiply every single term by r. Now what we're going to do is a manipulation. Now well, we're going to use these two expressions and we're going to subtract them from each other. So we're taking this and we're saying minus the other one. And what that's going to give us is this. Now it looks a bit surprising but notice if I take my first my terms here and I subtract from it whatever is here, u1 times r to the power of n will be subtracted by this, so these will cancel out. And then this will also be subtracted by this one, so these will cancel out, this will subtract by this one, so it will cancel out, and so on, we continue, and then this will, ca will be cancelled with this one, so I'm cancelled out. So the only thing that doesn't get cancelled out is the u1 from here and the u1 times r to the power of n here. So this, is, this comes from the rsn, and this comes from the Sn. Okay, so it's this minus this, whatever is left. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the Sn on the left-hand side, and I'm going to factor out the U1 on this right-hand side. So Sn will factor out, so I have R minus 1, and then U1 will factor out, so I have R to the power of N minus 1. And then I'm going to divide both sides by r minus 1, and that's going to give me my actual formula. So I have Sn is equal to u1 uh, times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Now, there is an alternative where you actually swap the 1 and r to the power of n, uh, but be careful that the denominator and numerator have to be in the same order. Um, also be careful that r is to the power of n but r is not to the, uh, but the denominator doesn't have a power of n. So hopefully you can see how we got from here. And then the last step was just to divide by r minus 1 to get to these two formulas. It's also important that r is not equal to 1, or else you'll get a denominator, you'll end up dividing by 0, which is not allowed. Now, if we go through a few examples, so I have a geometric sequence of this form, and I need to find the sum of the first 20 terms. So what I'm going to do is actually... Um, lay out all the information I have. So I know that I have 20 terms that I need to sum, so it's a finite sum. And I know my first term is 4, and my common ratio is 2. So I'm multiplying by 2 every single time. So now that I have this information, I can plug it inside my sum formula. So if I put that in there, I know that the sum up to 20 terms is the first term, u1, um, and open brackets, the common ratio to the power of 20 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. So just be careful with the powers. You need to make sure that you're matching it with the subscript that you have here. And be careful that the denominator doesn't have a power. You'll get the same result if you use the second formula, but for convenience, I've used the first one. If I simplify it, I'm going to end up with 4,194,300. 
Um, so quite a big number. So the numbers are growing quite quickly and um, hence why we're getting such a number. Now it's good to link this back to sigma notation. If you've done sigma notation, then I can rewrite this and say, well, I'm adding all the numbers from zero, from one, from the first term up until the 20th term. And each term has a form of four times uh, two to the power of n minus one. So this is your geometric sequence. So this is a geometric sequence formula, u one times r n minus one. So what you're saying is, okay, if I substitute n as one, then it's gonna give me the first term. And then if I substitute two, it's gonna give me the second term. If I substitute three, it's gonna give me the, um, the third term and so on. So every time I substitute, it's gonna give me another term and I'm gonna do that up until 20. So I'm gonna get all the 20 terms and then I'm gonna add them all together. So this is just a shorthand way of saying, add all the terms in the geometric sequence up until 20. Now, why is this useful? Well, if you wanna check your answer in the calculator in a different way, again, if you have time or if you just wanna double check your classwork, you can plug this into your calculator. So if you go to math, uh, press on the math button and then go all the way down to summation sigma, and you're gonna get this expression. So you're gonna plug in all the numbers. You'll have a space to write here. You need to make sure that you know how to get this x uh, variable in there. You're gonna see a button with x, theta, and so on, all the other letters. So you're gonna press x in there, equals to one, uh, 20, and then you're gonna write your expression with also x in the numerator. That will represent your n. And then once you press enter, it's gonna do the summation for you. So you can double check your answer. So something similar, so um, another example, so we have a geometric sequence of this form. So the first step is to identify all your values. So I'm adding up to the 10th term. My first term is six. And the common ratio, well, I'm just gonna take any term and divide it by the previous one. So two divided by six, and that's gonna give me one over three. Once I have that, I'm gonna plug it into my formula. Just be careful not to use um, the decimal value because one over three is a recurring decimal and if you change the ratio to a decimal it's not going to give you an accurate answer you have to use the fraction form so one over three to the power of ten notice that i'm using the second form of the equation again plug it into the calculator this is going to give me eight eight point nine 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 eight which is approximately nine but do show uh, that you you're getting an approximation to nine Again, using sigma notation, I can plug it in and it starts from n equals to one up until 10. Uh, so I'm adding all the terms in this geometric sequence from one up until 10. You can use the calculator again, you put the summation in there and then plug your um, expression there using again one over three to the power of x minus one and that's gonna give you the expression needed. So that's just to double check that you've done the formula correctly, um, a shorthand way of doing it, for example. So it's quite simple, the sum of geometric series, just make sure you have all the values that you need and you substitute it wherever required.